No doubt Port Hedland is a mining town, hot and dusty. The attitude of most people that come to this town is we're only going to stay for a year or two, make some money and then leave this dump. And off they go with a pocket full of cash, not understanding that Hedland is the gateway to so much. Fishing in Hedland's always better than the city areas. Most Hedlanders don't even know we have the Harding Dam just out of Roeburn. 80 Mile Beach, a great place to camp on our doorstep. How about a swim at Kungan Pool in the summertime afternoon on the Marble Bar Road? The Bamboo Creek Road allows for great camping in a number of areas. Do the right thing. Ring the station owners, ask for permission to camp on their property. Take all your rubbish home with you. Start exploring our country that is at your back door. There is so much to see, it does take years to cover. What could be better than setting up a camp in a pristine location? Reading a book and listening to bloody galahs all day long. Campfire at night with the camp pubman cooking dinner. Head out during the day exploring the vast countryside. Pools, water holes and freshwater streams litter the area. You're not going to find this stuff sitting on your couch drinking beer and watching the footy. Well, members of the Outback Club Well, the boys from the bush come in from the scrub oh. All sorts of animals cruise in the area. Here we have a wild turkey taking his morning walk. We work the land always good to understand the capabilities of your four-wheel drive and have any recovery gear on hand in case you get stuck. Or travel in convoy with a few friends that will automatically run you down when you get bogged. South of Headland we've got camping at Wim Creek, Sherlock River, the old Onslow historic ruins, Exmouth, Ningaloo, Coral Bay to name a few. Cable Beach and Broome's always a good weekend. Catch a barra at Yida Station or Derby. Or head up to Kununurra, have a look at the Ord Dam. The last frontier of Australia at Headland's doorstep, the Gibb River Road. There is so much to see and so many places to find, it would take a lifetime to accomplish. El Questro and Home Valley Station have private campsites. This gives you a heavily shaded camp base to go exploring from. And here we have some mates on the trip. These mountain ranges feature in the Australia movie, right next to the Pentacross Crossing. We're having some firewood and heading into Mount Elizabeth Station on our way through to the Walcott Inlet. Going over the Baxton Jump Up, the brother-in-law's shitbox Parado couldn't tow his van over the top so I had to do it for him. Ripping off the back tyre, mud flats and steps to the van in the process. So you think you can't go camping because you've got small kids? Bring a bucket, give them a bath. If you don't know what you're doing in the bush, but want to give it a try, get a hold of Tag Long Tours and organise a trip into the outback. Learn how to find water and live off the land if you need to. Soak in the sights of countless tours available. This will change your perception of Headland being a shit town. In a recent shooting trip, we used this hill as a spotting point for wild camels. After a day of tracking footprints, I come across a mob of camels about two kilometres off the beaten track. We left the car, positioned ourselves downwind from the animals and slowly walked in on their hideout. Set up position on this ridge about 400 metres from the spot where they were. You're about to see a dead camel, so if you don't like that idea, switch off the movie now and go and hide in the cupboard. And here we go, two camels down, and the best part of three hours to cut them up. On the way home we came across another pack of camels, so we grabbed the movie camera and chased them into the bush. Obviously my dog was enjoying himself immensely. Another recent trip, we explored this old abandoned gold mine about two hours out of Headland. The track in is very steep and eroded. As you can see, Headland offers us a host of activities we can engage in. Exploring, camping, four-wheel driving, 
fishing, shooting, but make sure you do the right thing and ask permission to go on people's land. Take all your rubbish home. Take a shovel with you and don't leave dunny roll all over the place. One of the reasons titular was closed down was because there was dunny roll everywhere. So you've just seen some of the stuff I'm able to do from Headland. When you start doing these things every weekend, you will realise Headland is a great place to be. And one day you'll sit back and think, shit, I've lived in Headland for over 30 years. Time flies when you're having fun.